Man say ishi. Man say ishi. Hey man, what's she looking like? Man say she's looking like a ishi. Ishi. Friends, look at why. Hey, friends, this is your face, you know. That. Who is that, bro? Someone come to me the other day like, yo, creeps. Can't you ever forgive the ops? <laughs> I replied, forgiveness is between them and God. It's my job to arrange the meeting. Pull it up, murder and kill. Rose bullet stops the shots didn't kill. What the surgery will. Bye bye, bro. My guy told. Weaky sentence had numbers and letters like the Wi Fi code. Boy, we're here today. Mm -hmm. Get me, obviously. Big up Keeper Crisis first and foremost. Love you get my me? Bro. Thank you. Um, it's the host of the most, man, like Fend. You get me? If they don't know where I'm from, obviously, I've got my podcast, Table Time Podcast. Table, yeah. Um, you get me? Obviously, I'm an artist as well. I do music, South London. You get me? Representative. But um, obviously, me and you linked up. Table time, yeah. Me, you and yeah. Kane. Me, you and Kane did our thing. Yeah. Kane, Kane and Creeper Crisis came down to, to our podcast, Table Time, and we sat down and we had a powerful conversation. 100%. Um, was, yeah. And then from that, we kind of built, built a rapport. 100%. You know what yeah, I mean? 100%. And um, you were saying that, obviously, you're releasing your project and, you know, you're starting to do in, even the mental health interview that you've done. Yeah. yeah. Um, shout out to yeah, Jay. Yeah, shout we got out to Jay. Jay. You see what yeah, I'm trying to say? Shout out to Mac as well. Shout out to Twin Azalea, who was there as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my PA. Yeah. So, um, and then, yeah, you shouted me and you was like, yo, bro, it's your turn to yeah, sit down with man on my platform yeah, now yeah, and yeah, yeah. interview me. So, I'd like to thank you for that as well. Like, no, on camera. Love my bro. You see what love. I'm saying? Like, Appreciate you, man. The, 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 the scenery where we are right different, now. Different to what anyone's ever seen. Yeah, shout out to my bro. I know you don't want to be named, but shout out to my bro. Yeah, shout big up bro. bro. You get me? So, silent partner. That's how you do it. That's that silent partner stuff. That's it. So, yeah, man. We're just going to just sit down today and have a good conversation. 100%. You yeah. know, man's got a few little questions I want to ask you and yeah. little notes I want to touch on. But um, and, and in saying that as well, I did, mm. I did say to Fend as well, like, the way the rapport me and Fens built, I wouldn't just go on anyone's platform and speak about certain stuff. But where Fens has become bro, I said to him, listen, it's only right that you be the first to ask me whatever you want to ask me. So he can ask me anything that some of you guys can't be comfortable enough to ask me. Come on, man. Big up now. Big no, up my love brother. Him, bro. And that's love. what I'm saying. Real recognised rule. You Facts. know what I mean? Facts. Like, a man appreciates that. So, yeah, man. First and foremost, how you been, though? How's I'm all right, everything? you know? I'm all right. My, my yeah. health's up, man. I... I been trying to eat as clean as possible. Yeah. Trying to, because from the mental health interview, that's one thing I want to put out there. I don't have mental health. I've mm. never suffered with mental health. I yeah. was just bringing awareness to it. Because mm. I've learned, like, since I've dissociated myself from the hood, I've learned a lot of our mental food plays a part in it. That's right. So, like, like when people are stressed, they'll binge eat. So, yeah. if you, like, think about the word desserts, you reverse it, it spells stressed. Jeez. The word desserts, if you reverse the word desserts, it's still yeah. stressed. Yeah. Little things like that, yeah. it made me realise, hold on, part of this is, is part of my diet. Yeah. My diet plays a major part. So since that, I've just been eating clean, jumping rope, all of that good stuff. Mm. You say you've been doing your training and that, yeah? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Now, even me, the same thing, I've been trying to get my mind right. You get me trying to get on a little yeah. boxing and, you know what I mean? Just fitness, just for the fitness, it's you know good, what I mean? It's good for the mental, man. But yeah, so, I'm, I'm good, bro. I'm yeah, definitely good. Everything been good, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, man, with the the, the the latest interview that you've done with the yeah. mental health and that, that was powerful. Like, and Thank you, my bro. The, 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 the reception that you've got from that, it's been, it's been second to none, isn't it? Independently, mm. only me and my PA twin, Azalea, we've been promoting just us two. Mm. No Google ads, no purchasing views. You know what I mean? Over 2,500 views, over 500 comments, independent. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we did that. From the ground up, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that one. No, I respect you, still. yeah, no, love, bro. Thanks to everyone who watched, yeah, because it's not like you know, Instagram. I think if you watch like 30 seconds, it gives it a view. YouTube's not like that, you know, you have to watch. That's right, to give you the view, they've changed it now, they've changed yeah, it. Yeah, before you could just click it, boom, it yeah, view. <laughs> but now, now you have to, it's the watch yeah. time, isn't it? Yeah, so, um, yeah, that was a powerful, that was a powerful interview there, still. You get me, um, and do you know what I was gonna say to you as well, yeah. What gives you the like the momentum of like how you promote and the consistency? Because sometimes even me, like me doing my podcast yeah. and that, like, bro. Sometimes man, just my head's just not in it. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. So even yeah. when you look done your episode on on my YouTube, that's the most engagement from all the podcasts I've done. Thank you, bro. That's the most engagement. Like yeah. even with the comments, it's not fake. It's not you didn't buy no views. Like that's what I want people to know when they're seeing your views. Yeah. You're not buying. It's genuine. We talk about this all the time. Genuine. Yeah. Genuine. So yeah. What gives you that that motivation to kind of 
you know, one of my bros said the realest thing to me. He said to me, yeah, everyone, everyone guards themselves in the public. He mm. said to me, always include the public and you won't go wrong, bro. Mm. So I've always spoke to everyone just on a, like all the women on my Instagram. I'm sure none of them could screenshot a message and say, I've tried to sleep with them. I've tried to, you know what I mean? I've mm. tried to flirt with them. It's always been like, how you had your, and then when you do that, you build a community of people that are ready to support yeah. you because yeah. they don't feel like, the, the cringe from you they don't they don't feel intimidated by you yeah. and then same with the guys I just hit them up and I'll say to them yo and build a community once we built that community everyone just kind of wants to see you win mm. so it's yeah from that community that's how that's what helped me get my engagement on any platform I've gone on yeah. so that like most artists they'll go on a platform mm. and at no point can they take their fake purchases to the, another platform? That's right. You've learned that yourself. Yeah, they yeah. can't do that. Whereas yeah. <laughs> nothing's fake with us. Yeah. So it's, it's all, all genuine. Genu all yeah. genuine. Every platform I've gone on, you can see it. The engagement remains the same. Yeah. Yeah. Like the comments, everything. Like, and it stays you, the same. I can't lie. You, you get, might see familiar faces within yeah. the comments. You know what I mean? Because yeah. yeah. No, you get you get genuine love, bro. Yeah. And and I respect that. And then even the first time when you came to table time, but when you came to the podcast, you yeah. came. Like, you were sending me all of Kane's music and da da da, da. Yeah, yeah. And then, obviously, it was after I'd done my research. And, and you I started put, yeah, getting the clips. The Eat, Mouth and Eat, Oh, uh, now, nah, you know what, and you know what's crazy, yeah? What, why are you I, so humble about that? Now, nah, you know what it is? It, in, this, in this room here, there's a few of us, yeah? Yeah. If we take a group photo, mm. everyone's going to zoom in on what they look like. Yeah. You know what I mean? No one's thinking about no one. Everyone's going to take that picture and mm. zoom in on what they look like first. I've never had that mindset. I've always been a team player. Like, I, I, you could be like, yo, creeps, let's post it. And I can be in the picture like, tongue all like, you know what I mean, all over the place. <laughs> but your people are thinking about themselves. Well, yeah. I don't think like that. I'll be like, no, nah, friends, man, look, look, bro. You, you're not even smiling or posing properly. Yeah. Scrap that picture, let's start again. Yeah. So I've always had that mindset where everyone has to look on point. Mm. So that's why I'm, I push my people. Because for me, like I said, a group photo, everyone would key in <coughs> on what they look like as opposed to what everyone looks like. Mm. I'm a what? what everyone looks like type of guy. Yeah. I suppose yeah. myself. You're for the like you're for your team. 100%. Yeah. 100%. And I even kind of, like, like again, because obviously I messaged you, I was like, yeah, hey, bro, what? Well, bro, you didn't remember, I was like, what? You didn't really show me like that about your oh, yeah. tune. Oh, yeah, So, yeah, and then when yeah. I go I back pushing, and done my research, Kane, now I, I can get to talk to you about yeah. it. Like, at that time, it was like, what, 2007, 2008? Yes. Because it was E8. Yeah. E8, Manfred. 2000. Well, we started with, initially, Rapsy, shout out to my bro Jay behind the camera and that. Yeah. We started with them, man, like, ending of 2007 and then the uploads become 2008 sort of thing. Okay. So, like, I think Rapsy and the man were, like, the first from East, our side's doing it. You know yeah. what I mean? So, we was, like, 2007. Mm. And that's one thing. We were always late, bro. Because if you think about MSN come out in 1995. When did MSN come out? 1995. No way. Yeah. And then MySpace come out 2003. Yeah. YouTube come out April 2005. Okay. Instagram come out 2010. Yeah. I only had Instagram since October 2021. We was on the internet from 2007. Yeah. But I've only set up a YouTube account 2022. Yeah. So talk about late to the party. You see what I mean? I was... Yeah. So think about how ahead of our time we could have been. Yeah. Had we had learned the biz, that's why Azalea, Candy Kim, all of them's now on board because before it was just like rapping, a couple of them guys around. So just a hobby before, basically. Before we were just having fun. Yeah. It's only when um, Jay came to me and was like, bro, check the page. And I'm like, page? He's like, it's on YouTube, bro. Yeah. Because remember, YouTube wasn't, no one was comfortable putting stuff on YouTube when yeah. it initially first came out. Of course. So, we yeah, didn't so even know what it was about. We didn't. Because I think I've got a video on YouTube in 2007. And it was the same thing, we were trying to get on Channel U. And the man who said something like the, the people on Channel U said that because people were smoking and that yeah. they weren't clean enough for Channel U. So we were weak. The see, man who slapped it on YouTube, you didn't even know what it was, bro. Bro, we were taking, we were taking, making shooting, nigga. Mm. When everyone was making happy music for Channel yeah. U, not yourself, you, but yeah. we took the risk. Yeah. Everyone was nervous. So we were just like, nah, we'll take the risk, bro. <laughs> that's why I would have guided for it, detail it, about it, this. It got us on ITV, like I showed you. Yeah. It got us on Daily Mirror. Yeah. But that's promotion you can never pay for. Mm. Like, people don't understand that's promotion you can never pay. You can't yeah. pay for that kind of promotion, bro. Yeah. You see what I mean? So they don't even realise in hindsight they promoted us. Mm. Like, it, it, it hindered, that's, man. That's, 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 yeah, like that's pro promotion you can never pay for, bro. If you're on the main, like, ITV... Bro, that's or, Parliament yeah. campaign promotion. Like, they, this promotion you can never... ITV, yeah. Daily Mail, that's fine. But we can't... We can never pay for that promotion. Yeah. So we're kind of happy about that. Um, but you see them times there as well. Like, from what I saw, yeah, like, going back through the videos and that, it saw it. It seemed like you lot had had me. Like it was all one. There was loads of different yes. postcodes, loads, yes. of, loads of different boroughs. Yes. 
And it reminds me, it, this is why I really recognise Raw. It reminds me of, my, of the time in my ends. In the same era, it was like in Tulsa, Brixton Hill. Everyone was All one. All connected. Everyone was one. Do you know what it was? It wasn't just Pulse Hall kind was of. It, yeah. it was, for me, I'm not a geographical guy. Mm. And for me, I look at it like, I, I've lived in Newham, Wolven Forest, Essex and Hackney. Mm. I know Essex ain't East, but I've lived in every part of East. And mm. then when I came to Mount for the blueprint I was trying to give them, if we go Westfield tomorrow, yeah? Mm. Um, let's just say any hood. Every hood is, is confined to the people from their area. Mm. So think about it. Gucci would only sell you Gucci. Mm. Montclair would only sell you Montclair. Mm. Louis would only sell you Louis. Mm. We was building JD Sports. You can come in there and get any brand, bro, mm. from what we was putting out there to everyone. Mm. Like, we was trying to connect everyone. You couldn't come into our, come into our hood and just find Mountford Man there. Yeah. There was Leighton Man there. There was Gate Man there. There was yeah. Becton Man there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and we brought together the whole community. We made everyone get along whilst we were filming. Jake Jay was there. And it was more, bro, it was more people than the camera even shown. If yeah. there was drones back then... It'd be mad. They wouldn't... What? What, what would you say brand that? Like, because you seem like he was one of the, the main characters, like, not characters, but the main, the main guys. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, would, yeah. You, would you say he was, like, the backbone of that, like, bringing everyone together, the link? Um, I, I would say, so, my brothers, my two brothers, they built the hood. Because mm. at the time, I lived in Clapton, and mm. me and Kane was telling you, Kane lived in Homerton. Mm. So, Kane lived in Homerton, I lived in Clapton. But my two brothers, they were out there in the hood. And as far as the music crew, mm. it was me and Kane that built the crew. So then we just put it together when my brothers had the hood and then we had the music crew and we just put it together. Mm. So then where they was doing what I wanted them to do, it may appear like I was the main figure. Because mm. like I said, back then as a kid, I would have been like, yeah, I'll run this whole hood. Because in my mind, everyone's listening to what I'm saying. That's right, but then yeah. I'm thinking about leadership is about settings. Yeah. So then I'm thinking in that setting, I was in control of what was happening. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Didn't dem Not diminishing what the honour I had in the hood. Don't like... Them man respected man, yeah, you know what I mean? Course, like yeah. they respected man. Yeah. But for me, it would be a lie for me to sit here and say, I'm one man and I control a hundred guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's but, not easy to control. It's not easy to control a bachelor. Some, yeah. some man can't control their kids yeah. in their house. That's real. You know what I mean? Real. Like Facts. go to bed and their Facts. kids are just like, F you dad. Like, it's you know a, what I mean? Like yeah, it's true. You know what I mean? Drawing on the walls and just yeah. smashing furniture for no reason. You know no, what I mean? Facts. Some man can't stop their cats clawing their sofas. Some you know man what I mean? can't so, control their dogs. You know what I mean? Some bro, man can't control... Like, even, like, having, like, little brothers and that. Like, and, you try and reason with them or what, but you can't control then, them. You know bro, what I mean? It, you got to remember, yeah, there's mm. only so long you can give your brother the control pad that's not plugged in. Mm. He's there thinking he's playing. Mm. Until now, you know what I mean? He's, he's, he's playing really like virtually you. with his friends he's and his friends like, yo, bro, we told you to get in the room. Why, why are you not going in the room, fam? What's going on? <laughs> and he's sitting there like, yo, like, yo, what, what's, what's going on? There's only so long you can give him that control pad that's not plugged in. Mm. You know what I mean? I think, I think but with the Mountford man, mm. and this is me being real, half of them couldn't think for themselves. Like, see me, mm. I can walk and chew gum. Yeah. Like, them man, the kind of dumb, the kind of dumb that they'll call your house when you answer and they'll ask you, are you home? <laughs> that kind of dumb. Like, duh. I want your home, bro. Like, duh. Yeah. Like, it, like, bro, you just called my you house You just phone, called bro. the house and you didn't call a phone box. Duh. Yeah. Like, so yeah. some of them, and, and, and you, and you realise that in the hood, like, mm. you realise that being amongst them. It's the ends mentality, isn't it? Bro, it's, and it's selective outrage. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, think about it like this. If I give you an example of selective outrage, yeah? Mm. Friends, you might owe me money. I might say, oh, bro, I'm just going to come and check you. Da, 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 da. But keep in mind, I'm not talking, I'm not threatening you. Mm. I'm not trying to oppose as an as, as op. I'm just mm. saying I'm coming. No, bro, please, you come to my house. Da, da, da. Yeah. But then let you owe the bank money. And then the bank are sending the bailiffs. Bailiffs, like, yeah. Oh, just don't take this sofa. Yeah. You know, my daughter loves this sofa. Yeah. Selective outrage. Yeah. So that's why I said, ops kill your bro, you peacefully go left. Cops kill your bro, you peacefully protest. Sucker shit. Yeah. So once I realised that... I like that, that one. Say that, again. Say that again. Bro, I said, ops again. kill your bro, you yeah. peacefully go left. Yeah. Cops kill your bro, you peacefully protest. protest. Sucker shit. Yeah. So when I realised that, mm. selective outrage, I said, oh, I need to dissociate myself from these people. Because yeah. the, there's no position of power you could ever be in that's going to that's gonna affect, that's mm. going to scare me or put me off doing what I need to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? And once I realised half of the man went on that, I just was like, yeah, we need to remove ourselves from the situation. And plus, the man don't have a JD Sports in their hood. They yeah. don't have a, a, a spa place. They just have a Caribbean shop that I never used when I was there. <laughs> what, what, what's the incentive for me to return? Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah, and the mindset, innit? And you know what it is? It's that 
she she with you from what I see, you seem influential. You know what I mean? Thank you, my brother. So, Thank you. Like, and what it is it people that are influential and people that, that think outside of the box and that are not the average Joe in the M's, no. the average man. Yeah. They, they, it, it, you know, they always kind of wake up and say, you know what? Cause I was like that. It's the same thing, yeah. like, I had people following me. Oh, what, you want to go do this? Yeah, yeah, come. Yeah. Da, da, da. Whatever, I will, can we go um, Chakadero? And I will roll, you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. then as I got older and, and I moved about as well to different boroughs, I started realising, oh, okay, everyone's got the same mindset. Oh, okay. They all think, you, yeah, yeah, they all, they all think, think the and same. And like you yeah. said, certain men wake up and they don't even know what to do for, with, with their day. They, they don't, don't have bro. an infrastructure. They don't. they don't have... And man was always like, right, man's go to the studio. Then I'll have people that don't even rap. They're just in the studio with me. And I'm getting them paid in the studio, finding the avenue for them. Putting so. it, yeah, and, and legitimate positions. Mm. Like, like the thing I built with Azalea, Candy Kim and that, we're mm. trying to make sure that their families can eat from what we're building. That's right. You know what I mean? Generational like, wealth. 100%. Yeah. They, like, Azalea's MJ, shout out to MJ, you know what I mean? Mm. Candy's got her kids. So even that, just the energy of negativity, we're not trying to even bring that around us anymore because we've got pe people to protect. Yeah. Like, I'm always going to be good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm always going to be good. So, yeah, man, that mm. Mountford thing, death to Mountford and life to music's future. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, so, 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 Mountford is fully... Done. Yeah, done, done. with that. Um, you know what it is? Mm. It's like, after a while, everyone tried to have an opinion. You know what the best way to ex explain that situation? Mm. They would try, they would, imagine we're having a house party, they turned up late and then asked the DJ to change, change the music. <laughs> what? <laughs> you man are the last to arrive. <laughs> How can you ask them for the music to be changed? Yeah. I want to hear Afro beats now. I'm a piano. Yeah. What? You just, bro, we've been playing 50 Cent. <laughs> like, you yeah. know what I mean? So. Yeah, you weren't here helping us set up. They weren't, there, you know I mean? they weren't there, bro. They weren't there. And for me. They just want to come to the after party, have food. The, and then and then try and control. I know what you mean. Like and, try and, and have and, them say. And what I can honestly mm. say is, and this is public information because um, people have gone. That situation mm. escalated more than what it needed to. And you're my bro, so I can have the conversation with you. I don't incriminate anyone. Mm. But um, that situation, people have been shot. People have been stabbed. Not nothing. I'm glorifying. Mm. P someone dead, bro. Someone died. Someone got killed in the hood. And me and bro's name got called for that. And his mum, she's a grieving mother. My, all yeah, my blessings one. go to her. Yeah, so as well. my thing with that is, at some point, she's just going to want to see any form of conviction. Mm. So I try and stay away. Because for me, even like with the people that's been shot, people that's, people that's not here with us anymore, mm. in my mind, I'm limited to what I can actually speak on because mm. any of it could one day be used against me. You yeah. see what I mean? Yeah. So with them, I just had to like dissociate myself from that situation because mm. it got real. And that, that line, 50 Cent, when he said... Slim switched sides on me. That niggas ride on me. I Ooh, thought you was cool. Why you, you want me to, to die, die, homie? What did you say five minutes before? How influential I was in the area. Mm -hmm. Jake and Cole sign it. Certain OGs, they didn't like that. Yeah. So they've passed certain things over to certain... Man, I could speak on it because people have been arrested for this thing. Yeah. Bro, one you got pulled over with over five bumpers in the car. For man. For me, bro. So I'm looking at it like, raw. Is he's got Bill now. I need, I need yeah. him out. I need you out. Mm. I need you out. Mm. 50 said it from early, though. <laughs> it's better for me out, it's better for me out here than you know he is what? in there. 50 said it. Fuck the hood, man. And I remember when I was growing up and I was like proper in the, in the ends with my bridges and that, you'd be like, oh, 50 is fake. But you see, as, you, as man grew a bit older and you learn. I went through situations, yeah. man, trying to run up on man because yeah. man's got this, you're trying to. Yeah. Man, I hate on man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I realised, and it's the same thing when you're, and you have to realise it from early. Because that's the only way you're going to be able to get out of that. You know what I mean? 100%. Because there is people in the ends that are, are like, man, like, the influential, but they're, they, they're so caught up in the ends, they're doing the influential thing in the wrong way. Like, you know what I mean? Bro, Leading I, gangs, whatever it is they're doing, or it, and where they could be putting it into... I was, trying to, I was trying to show them it's us versus them. So meaning the, the, normal, the normal everyday working class people mm. or people outside versus yeah. the government. I was trying to show them that, but they... They didn't understand evolution, like evolution, like growth. Be more than all right. So look, think about the hood, yeah. Mm. Think about the hood. Even if we, even if we label the hood stuff, yeah, like give, we give it the titles that we give it. The corner. Yeah. The, the ends. The block. The trap. Yeah. The hood. Yeah. Think about it like this: the corner. The trenches. Think about the corner, yeah. Uh, the corner means something that. That's, something that's cornered. Yes, yeah, angle. So once something's cornered, yeah, that's it, bro. Yeah. All right, then think about think about the trap. Why not be the exit? Yeah. If we're in the trap to exit, why is it called the trap and yeah. not the exit? Yeah, I was just about to say that. Uh, think about the mm. end. That's a, that's a means to an end. Yeah. And then think about the hood. Don't let what I'm saying go over your head. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? That's the best way I could put it. And you see what I'm saying? So where they had that mindset where they were so fixated on just warring each other as mm. opposed to the actual common enemy, I just had to remove myself from them, bro. Because like I said, evolution, remember friends, when electric cut out in our house, we had to light candles. That's right. Now we have iPhones with lights on it. That's right. We have, we've got torches on our phone now. Torches on our yeah. phone. Look, yeah. They Before say, at a family function, you need to get like a Kodak camera to take a picture. Now, now we've got picture, we've got camera on, in our pocket. Evolution. Yeah. Look at evolution, bro. Like they said, evolution. The times are moving. Bro, moving. <laughs> they, Jesus rode a tan yeah. on a donkey. Now yeah. man are pulling up with new horsepower. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can see the horse. <laughs> but for me, all right, cool. <coughs> for you politically correct people, I know a horse is not a donkey, a mm. mule is not a good horse. Okay, we get it. But mm. you understood the analogy. So I'm saying it's mm. evolution. It's mm -hmm. growth. They didn't understand that. They were just so fixated on that that hood mentality and I was just like, nah, I've got to dissociate myself. Yeah. Just trying to be the spook who sat by the door. Yeah, word. Like from like like you said, with that with that with that environment, obviously in life everyone's promised death, but I'm saying the only way out is an early death or an early jail Facts. sentence. Facts. And we both know we've got we know people that have been through that, you know yeah. what I mean? And the families yeah. that are victims and yeah. um so quickly as well, do you feel as well, yeah, that because you are pioneering Hackney, you and your like you came you man, you man was doing music from then. Do you feel as well, like having all them, that, that, the, the, the collective of people and then years later, it's not, everyone's not as friends. Do you feel that kind of blackboarded you or held you back? Yeah, yeah, yeah a, li a little bit. I think, mm. I think, I think the, the, the war that we had as well amongst each other mm. kind of hindered us. It yeah. kind of hindered us. Because um, at first it was just like the police, the, you know what I mean, ITV, the yeah. Daily Mirror, yeah. that was cool. And then when it, when it started to be in-house problems, mm. that's when it was just like, yeah. And then, so we just come off, because real stuff was happening. Like I said, people being killed, people got shot, people got stabbed, people went jail behind this. Mm. A couple of my guys went jail behind this. So mm. that's what just made us fall back from the internet mm. completely and say, yo, we've got to come off the net. Because like I was saying to Kenya, yeah, like we have to have a, a, a on-point mindset. So think about how these youths are thinking now. They're in music videos, they're in all of these platforms and stuff like that. Mm. And... They're showing stuff they can't account for. That's right. I was trying to show these men. I'm not trying to show nothing I can't account for because these men will comb through our stuff yeah. and, and use it against us one yes. day. You see what I mean? Yes. So when people see like, I got a little Cartier watch, yeah. bust down one. That's cool. I want you to just think that's all man mm -hmm. got. Because at the end of the day, half of the things you man are showing, you can't account for. That's, that's right. why man are getting picked up for these big cases, paper trials. That's right. You know what I mean? Like these recoach, like all of that's real, mm -hmm. bro. Obviously, the, the act, that act ain't in, in, in England, but mm. I'm saying they're watching. Mm. So I always told them, the bros, let's only show things you can account for. They didn't want to do that. So a man wanted to get on camera and make their life seem more than what it is. Mm. When that's just only going to hinder, man, bro. Mm -hmm. They're watching, bro. Yeah, of course, yeah. man. They, they, bro, like the feds, the, the, the tax people, they're all watching. All Everyone's of them. Watching. All watching. Everywhere. All of them. You know what all I mean? All of them are watching, yeah. Um, so then, so after that, and I remember you, you said you was doing a bit, you were dabbling in the grand minute. Did you have a little video on Channel U? Because I remember um, Sav. You see? Sav, you, big up shout, Sav. Shout out to Sav. Yeah, shout out to Sav. Yeah, you get me, I had so, a video on Channel so U. So I, I want to make... I, I want to apologise to Jay from UK Overstock because I sat down with Hunt, yeah? yeah? And I was like, Jay was like, you had one of the first videos on um, you, um, Channel U. And I was like, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Because I thought, I genuinely thought we didn't. Yeah. R.I.P. Exploder. Yeah? Jay will tell you, R.I.P. Exploder. Yeah. D.Dot is Exploder's brother. This is, this is why I won't fully go Big in on D.Dot because D.Dot yeah. used to allow us to use the studio back in yeah. the day. Yeah. But with that song, I got on that song by default. Jay can co-sign it. I was sleeping on Jay... Uh, my, my best friend Tex's floor, you know what I mean? And Tex was just going studio, and then by default, Tex bought me studio. Mm. But it wasn't even like he bought me studio to get me on the song. Yeah. He just said, I'm in his house, just pull yeah. up. And then there was another the MC, I don't want to say his name. In fact, <laughs> right. I will, I will. I I, MC name. Venomous. I don't know who you are. This is not, I don't know this guy. I don't know him, but he was meant to be on the song, but yeah. he hadn't turned up. <coughs> so Tex and Darkway were there, they can co-sign it. I just wrote my bars there and I just jumped on the song mm. and that was it. But then the going back to the Channel U and me not knowing it was on Channel U, mm. D-Dot had it on Channel U, he had it streaming. I didn't know none of this stuff. See. Keep in mind, I just done a, a, done a feature and then jumped bit. and that's yeah. it. So all of the other stuff, I didn't know. See, when you told me, you just reminded me that yeah. it was on Channel Channel, you, yeah, because yeah, I didn't know. I it didn't was, know. It was, it was my, my, my young G Sav. Yeah, bro, me? on the it block was big. In. It was rip, bro. Yeah. I was going to certain was girls' that? houses and they were showing me as, as their ringtone. Mm. That's when I knew about groupies. When I'm walking in the house and a girl showing me, oh, look, your songs are. Oh, so this is why you invited me, right? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, that's when you knew. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. So, shout out to On the Block, man. Yeah, man. And I don't know, only people I know from On the Block, because yeah. this is a misconception as well, yeah. is Tex was like my bro, Dark Boy, Craze. 
And by default, me and Bex Winter was in the same crew. But with Bex, no respect to Bex, we didn't have a rapport. I had a rapport with Exploder. Okay. So even though we was in the same crew, crews back then wasn't like crews now, yeah. where you, you're stepping together, you're going to yeah. events, you're trying to die for this guy or kill yeah. for him, or you know what I mean? It wasn't like that. It was just you went to the studio, you MC together. Mm. You know what I mean? You won't speak to a man, you won't meet his mum, his mum won't know your auntie, his cousin won't know your dad, your dad won't know his brother, his brother won't know your sister. Mm. We didn't know each other. I just knew, oh, he's the same crew as me. Mm. So when I even found that Bex was on the song, mm. I was like, oh, okay, cool. But yeah, so I don't know. And d can I knew yeah, d Grimes like that though, still. It's, it, you know, yeah. Grime, Grime's, Grime's the only um, genre where 50 men will be in the same room that don't know each other. Yeah, and they're cool. They're all cool. Everyone's cool. Everyone's talking the most smoke, but they're all cool. It, yeah, it yeah. comes from the youth club days. Yeah. The youth club days, and that, yeah. Do you know what? Yeah, it's, it's a good thing. Because it kept them out of trouble. Unity, yeah, and they kept them out of trouble. Kept them out of trouble, yeah. Kept them out of trouble, look yeah. what like, a lot of them have t- t- turned out to be at yeah. this stage. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, man. Shout out to On The Block. Mm. Um, so also, you got you got a new freestyle coming oh, out. Oh, bro. Bro, you sent me a clip still. Bro, Fens, yeah, yeah, I gave Fens, uh, yo, Azalea could hey. twin, could listen. So what, would the freestyle be out by the time this is out then? I, I don't even know. I, like that, I, I can't even speak on it because it's them man's platform. But shout yeah. out to Elite, shout out to Hood Hub Entertainment, yeah. Hustle all of them man, they got good stuff going on over there. Mm. We wanted to do it in Stratford initially, but it was just, you know, England, English weather's bipolar like certain people I know. So it just, <laughs> it just I changes say that, really. bipolar, it's bro. bipolar, bro. Yeah. It's like certain people I know. So yeah. it just pissing out with rain <laughs> that day. So then I was just like, come and do it in the car park. Yeah. And bro, man, humbly speaking, Azalea's favourite part, man left Earth that day, humbly speaking, bro. Yeah. yeah. And I had to give a, a, a light tap to a certain... Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to get onto that, because I yeah. heard like a little send and that, you know, yeah. like that. Yeah, So what so, so you sent for um, more stacks? Bro, <laughs> look. <laughs> like, I'm baiting it bro, up. Bro, <laughs> friends, listen. Yeah, go on, let's free, on it. Free this, yeah. show that, know that, to bro's back, we give no slacks to most stacks. No slacks for fools, and I'm sure he is. Most stacks jewels went on tour before he did. Now, why the, the reason why, 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 why Twin, why? where's my phone? Twin, where's my phone? Shout out to Twin. Look, look, this, you can't make this up. So, why, why? Got, look, be like most stacks. Bye bye. I'm still thinking about that. Tickle, I'll catch you. Tickle bottom. Oh, tickle whoa, bottom. Whoa, whoa, shout, whoa, shout out to Tickle whoa, bottom. Whoa, whoa. Shout out to Tickle bottom. It's not me. Yeah. It's not me. Look, this is Tickle bottom. I even shoot for you, even wipe a poo for you. Sometimes I just make a Look at... Why? Friend, this is your face, you know. That... Who is that, bro? Most that. Right. Are you ready? Let's connect this to the mics. Did you hear that? Yeah. Why right, it gets worse. That, it gets worse. Even wipe a poo for you. Sometimes I just wake up in the mood. Let's get... Uh, let's wake up in a little, a little freaky mood. Man. Watch, watch. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. It gets worse. Oh wait, 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 friends. No, no, no. You ain't seen. Wait, where'd you get these clips? Look, look, you ain't seen nothing yet, bro. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> what? Man no. said I almost slipped it in a booty. Wait, wait, wait are you ready? Wait, wait, friends. One, one, one more, one more. <laughs> right, you ready? You ready? Yo! <laughs> what is that? What is that? Right. What's going on there? You won't this? believe what Chloe told <laughs> wait me. Wait there, where is it? Wait there. Tickle wait. bottom. Alright, wait, wait. So wait. it's tickle bottom, yeah? Alright, so Azalea, sorry, twin, thank you. Wait there. Do you know what? It does seem a little bit. Like Bro, a... this is his words. I, mean, I didn't put words in his mouth. Not... Pause. That's a wife for that. No, I can't no, talk about tickle bottom and then put words in his mouth. Whatever, whatever, yeah, pause for that. Yeah, that's a wife for that. That's a strong wife for that. So why are you saying for him? What's going on? Where do clips come from? That, that's his words. That is his words, bro. That's tickle bottom. You won't believe what Chloe told me. Look, put it like this, yeah? I'm going to say this. Mm. My whole career, you've never seen me feature another rapper. Yeah. You've never seen me speak on another rapper. Mm. You've never even seen me associate myself with other rappers. Mm. I said it to you on your podcast. Mm-hmm. I stopped watching football because Ryan Giggs helped up Ian Wright. And I said, why are they too friendly? <laughs> They're on opposite teams. I just didn't respect that. It, this, is a competi- this is competitive. Why, yeah. why are you helping him up? <laughs> I didn't understand that. So <coughs> I, that's why I never connect with rappers. Mm. For me, in my mind, it's like we're both competing with each other. Mm. So I want to make this clear. I didn't get him for any form of clout. I genuinely don't care about that. Like, for me, with his situation, shout out to my bro Diz. Okay. Free my bro, my bro Diz. Diz if, yeah. you, if you go on YouTube now, you can pull up. You just type in Young Diz, 
Pac-Man TV, Creeper Crisis. Yeah. You see me calling Diz. Yeah. You see me in the car with Diz. This yeah. is like the kickstart of Diz's career. See. Shout out to Froggy. Anyone from East, even outside the East, knows what I'm talking about. And I say shout out to Froggy. Mm. Shout out to Flo, Van Damme, Dear Christian, the song I did. Flo did 18 years. These are Diz's uncles. These are, it's not me promoting them like that. They're steppers. Mm. This is public information. Mm. You see what I mean? So for me, I look at that situation where with most stacks, Diz and that robbed him. That's cool. That has nothing oh, to do with okay. nothing. I don't even know no, they robbed still. him. So see me, yeah. back in the day, only the kings wore gold. We understand that. Now these men will buy a watch and a hundred men will follow them to Hatton Gardens yeah. for one watch. Yeah. When I was running around with chains and watches, I was by myself, yeah, bro, in Hackney. Yeah, I was in the trenches street. by yeah. myself. So when you got robbed, no one cared. We know when Diz went jail, he laughed. I didn't respect that. Yeah. Like, what kind of so, man so, laughs? So, oh, when, when, when Diz, Diz most that's yeah. on a video laughing. Then, when, when man's on his downfall. I know and, it, and he done another video. Mm. He done another video where in that video, he's in his hood and his boy was like, most that's was like, yo, a rapper dissed me. And then his boy was like, yeah, suckies. And most that's like, no, no, we're not doing that. But for my, my thing is, he can, he can combat this and say, no, but bro, I told no, you didn't because you uploaded that footage. Yeah. That wasn't like someone else's camera or you yeah, was on Instagram yeah. Live where someone Still screen it recorded it. Thing. You yeah. put it up. Yeah. You decided to so put it up. So, so for me, the only yeah. reason why I'm getting at him is mm. to let him know that see Froggy, see Flo Dan, see the rest of the family, they're Dizzy's uncles. That person you're saying suck, da, 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 that's my sis. Mm. I met Froggy and Flo when I was 10 years old. Mm. Diz wasn't even born. Mm. So I just, I'm reminding him that he's got people out here, you know, yeah. don't make videos suck. Don't do yeah. none of that, bro. Because, and I'm trying to, I'm, I've called the bros behind the scenes. Like, I'm, I'm going to say something. Yeah. Don't need, cause I don't want it to escalate for him. Yeah. He said it on his own freestyle. Man said they're going to ride if they touch me, got touched, but it was only me on the F3. Yeah, I remember he that. said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we know everyone around you ain't, so stop. So yeah. I just kind of gave him a love, like, yo, bro, don't, don't do that, because so he's see, got family out here. He started talking all of that when Diz went jail, basically. When Diz went jail. So when, so when Diz was on the road, he, he never quiet. said none of this. Yeah. He, never, he, he, just, he, he got robbed and he jumped on camera and said, yeah, they got me, they got me. Yeah. Said he, I, I bought a new... Because someone brought it to my attention. I, I thought it was remember, that robbed ev- him, you know. No, it was, but the thing is, it, it come from people around me know this and that they, yeah. they, they're, they're, my, they're my guys you yeah. know what I mean so everyone's sending it to me like yo like, like I showed you with Fessify mm. not just most yeah, like Fessify but yeah, Fessify to take down that fake footage false of this ev- false information no one's no one's never right, got Fessify right no one's you never got Fessify to take down a post who's got Fessify to take down a post that you yeah. know history wise no. not even got no, no one bro he's, he's left post. all disrespect bro when yeah. I slid in these DM I got the messages to prove it mm. he was like yo you, you friend you see the message mm. he's like I'm not the only one bro cause bro like I said for me it's deeper than just music bro so I was like yo bro so yeah, we most stacks, and it's not a thing like he's a good, he's a tickle bottom, bro. Like he's, you know what I mean? I can't believe you know what I mean? He, he, uh, you know what I mean? Like he's a tickle bottom, bro. Like so, I can't. Boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, wait. Let me take this time out to apologize to little Kim as well. Yeah, Queen. I'm sorry because I went, I, I made a post one time on Facebook. Yeah, mm. I was like saying all these black twins mm. laughing. Queen, I want to apologize. It just came to right, me. Yeah. Happened? I said, because you know black women doing all the surgery and that, yeah. like, I don't really like it because we know black women to be natural. So yeah. when little Kim did all the surgery, I said, now nah, little, little Kim's now looking like little him. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Queen, don't do that. Queen, I want to apologise. I want to apologise in this part. The rapper little Kim. Yeah, yeah she's yeah, looking yeah, like yeah. little him. Yeah. So I want to apologise. She messed up her face, though. She's she looking like Michael Jackson. Look, like. I'm trying to apologise, bro. I'm trying to apologise. But yeah. I'm trying to apologise. You know Kim, I want to apologise, mm. Queen. Fez just made it worse. Yeah, she's looking at that. Man's yeah, just like, hee hee. <laughs> like, yeah, man said, like man said, she, she. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Queen, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man said, she, she. Man said, she, she. Man said, she, she. Man said she's looking like a he she, he she. Boy, Fed, are you doing like that, no, my hey, come on. Are you doing like that, hey, my girl? Oh, um, yeah, so with most so stacks. Yeah, that's you, mad, though. With, um, with him, like I said, it's not, it's not. I didn't even know it was that deep. Still, I didn't even know it was that political. Because like I said, remember, Diz and that's people, they're mm. outside, bro. Yeah, of course. And, and, of it's, course. and it's public information. It's not me glorifying it. Like I said, shout out to Flo, just come home, did 18 years. Yeah. Shout out to Froggy, that's, 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 that's his uncles. Mm. And the sister, the woman that you're talking about is their sister, bro. Yeah. 
Yeah. So you have Sometimes to be mindful. Got, mindful. Yeah, bro, is that the man that badding up the, the, the woman in Tesco's and you don't know that's someone's auntie, bro? Like, yeah. they'll come out and just, Zip you know, yeah, yeah, bro. No, like that. That's but, something I have to be mindful. But you know what? I will. I, I do want to say this year, mm. I am very, forget most acts, mm. I'm, but I'm very big on changing the perception and narrative of black, the, about the angry, the black guy, mm. the angry black man and all that kind of stuff because that, that's been a narrative for years. Mm. And I, I'm very big on the way we're depicted. Mm. You see what I mean? Like, if you, I don't know, like, Deep Impact, the movie, the movie Deep Impact come out in 1998. Mm. Bro, think about it like this, the world's ending, yeah, and they mm. got Morgan Freeman as the president. <laughs> Obama weren't even thought yeah, of. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and then yeah. you got the 2012 movie, they had Danny Glover as the president. Yeah. Think about that, like, even think about things like Tarzan. Mm. Bro, Tarzan was filmed in Congo, but he had a white man playing Tarzan. Mm. You see what I mean? Like, Bro, King Kong was losing his mind over the white woman. Do you understand? No other person in the world. Do you know what I mean? Dracula, 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 bro, 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 Dracula, Dracula wouldn't even bite on black women back then. Look at Dracula movies; all white women's necks he was biting on. So I know the the perception they have of the black man is that they have of the white man. Yeah, and and then we were talking about the PRS thing. Like Mm. for me. Think about like this year when we was talking about owning the ownership and all that kind of stuff. Mm. Ownership's important, bro, because. I, one that they would, one that they will know. Everyone watching this and everyone in this room knows who Uncle Ben's is, yeah. yeah everyone course. knows Uncle yeah, Ben's, yeah, yeah? Rest, yeah. Right, but Uncle Ben's don't own Uncle Ben's, yeah. Like that's <laughs> Uncle on, Ben's ain't that man on bro, the rest, no. bro. That, bro, no, no, that, that, <laughs> you know, you know, you know that. That's Frank Brown. That's Frank See, Brown. His real name's Frank Brown. Benz, bro, yeah. the only listen, the only the only thing white on Uncle Ben's is his hair, yeah. Yeah. That's Frank Brown, and that that company's owned by Mars. Yeah, the Mars family okay. owns Skittles. They own, they own Wrigley's. Yeah. Like, if I'm got chewing gum in there, you yeah, see Mars. Mars, Mars they own yeah, Snickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, they, their net worth is 126 care. billion. His net worth is a few thousands. So we, we need to stop allowing anyone to just use our image. So wait there, his net worth is worth what? A few thousand. But he's, but their, but theirs he, is he 126 billion. Like, Nothing. Um, and they're going to change. And you know, think about it. They gave man the whitest of names. Why couldn't they call it Uncle Tyrone? Imagine if you was in Asia and your mom was like, yo, go give me the bag of Uncle Tyrone. Yeah. <laughs> or, 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 <laughs> you know what I mean, Jay? Go, get, go give me the bag of Uncle Tyrone, Uncle Winston. You know what I mean? Uncle, Wolf, Uncle, Uncle Wilf, go yeah, get me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why is that not that gave man the whitest of names? So for me, like I said, I am big on... A perception. 100%. Yeah. We always so, talk about that as well, but you know that... Bro. Um, oh, cult, yeah, because yeah. friends, we, we spoke, like, it's not about colour, it's about, about culture. Because yeah, black, black is not even a colour, bro. Black, right. black is absence of light. And white is a combination of the spectrum, the colours of the spectrum, which mm-hmm. are the colours of the rainbow. So it's like blue, red, orange, green, yellow, indigo, violet. None of those are black and white. Mm-hmm. So without, without the colours of the rainbow, you won't get white and black is the absence of light. And you, and you got to think about it, bro. Like when we, when we, when we speak about colour and culture, mm-hmm. Africans feel a way towards Caribbeans. Yep. British white feel away towards Eastern Europeans, mm-hmm. Chinese feel away towards the Japanese, yep. Koreans, Thailand. So yeah. it's not just ju- their, their own neighbor, bro. So it's not color, yeah. it's culture. Yes. And it, it, for me, religion is the core, co- like religion, color, another separation. Look at religion, look at Malcolm and Martin, bro. Mm. Malcolm and Martin, they were fighting for, to end segregation, mm. for civil rights, mm. um, again, to, to alleviate, uh, to eradicate police, police brutality. Right, yeah. The only thing that separated them was religion. religion. Religion, yeah, because yeah. he believed one thing. He and then you think about that, bro. Like in the words of the greatest, shout out to shout out to the greatest. Mm. Think about religion. There's one God, but everyone has their prophets. Mm. So waterfalls, oceans, streams, rivers, lakes, a wet puddle, everything consists of water. But everyone names it something different. That's God. Everyone calls it what they want to call it, but it's one name. Mm. It's God. It's water. That's it. Mm. Waterfalls. So we need to understand. It's us versus them. Mm. And that's it. So I don't have no real issues with most stats. Like I said, he's a tickle bottom. Like, I can't... Oh, my <laughs> God. He's gone back. He's he's like, I can't believe bottom. this. <laughs> hey, yo. He should have bought... He he bought he he, he, yeah, he comes yeah. so, so for me... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so literally, yeah. so for me, my mindset mm. is I, I need these youth to, under, these youth to understand. Yeah. It's not... It's not about colour. It's about culture, bro. Yeah. It's about culture. And, culture is very important. And to important. break it down, like, I, I can break it down my side. Like, I'm mixed race, isn't it? Please, so, fans. Boom. Educate them, please, Obviously, bro. my mum, Irish. You get me? Yes. RIP, my mum. RIP, Irish. mum. She grew up in Brixton, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. My nan, my mum's mum, German. You know mm. what I mean? Grew up in Brixton, Lawford Road, like, front line. You know what I mean? 
my uncle. So they grew up in a in a obviously Brixton back in the days England it was yeah. was, a, was a dominated by white people. But I'm saying towards the time when they when they was growing up, it was like Caribbean. Um, obviously a few like and it was and like, it was wild, didn't it? Because that it was you, wild. bro, there was you, police brutality going on. There was the you, the Brixton riots. You couldn't leave your clothes on the clothes rail. So I'm saying, even so, if it was wet, crackers were still wet clothes. They were yeah. running the street all wet night. So like, my mum grew up. <laughs> my mum grew up cooking curry goat. You get me? Yes. Mum grew up yeah. cooking oxtail, yeah. rice and peas. She was so, and it's the same thing. She like I, in my household, I never heard like my white side of the family say anything to do with anything to do with any other colour of like or any other race nope. or any religion. They've never so when it's only when I came outside my house and I met like a few English kids or yeah. maybe a few even kids that might have been Muslim and then they would say their thing like, oh yeah boom, we don't like my mum don't like me being around this or and then yeah. like, it, you see what I'm trying to say, but it was in my household it, it I realised, rah, my man's German, I'm eating rice and peas from what? That's the culture. Yeah, it's culture. Right, as much, culture. She yeah. might cook a little, um, um, a little Frankfurt, whatever the cabbage, red cabbage, and them thing there. But we stuck to the culture of the Caribbean. You know what I mean? They respected it. And um, so when I was growing up, for me, I just knew who I was because mum would show me, "Bro, don't get it twisted. Like you're, you're, you're mixed race, but you're black. Like you get me. They're gonna see you as a brown man, yeah. They, you get me. You get, so she, she made me. She made me aware of who 100%, I was yeah. as, as, as a young yeah. man, and she made my sister aware. She made my little brother aware. Like, my little brother was a rasta until he got to a certain age and he's, like, he had dreads and that because his dad's a rasta. You get yeah. me? So we grew up with pair different cultures and then even had friends in school that were from different backgrounds. My friend, even my friend and Nikesh used to have a, um, a shop. He used to go to his shop. Da, da, da. So it's always culture and it was like, the, where you grow is who, you, you know what I mean? So you, you gain to kind of Get along with so well, you, know, you don't really as kids you don't care about we don't, oh, nah, nah, you, don't, you, don't, you don't even but think it's about the parents that. That. it's the parents yeah, it's and, and we get distracted so easily mm. bro like we like do you understand there's systems put in place because we're so distracted mm. like if you think about all right, if you go back to like slavery and that yeah mm. think about slavery yeah they were lynching in the towns kids could take a day of school to see someone lynched that's, that's the same structure as court system and yeah. all of that kind of stuff yeah and you got so, in a dock 100 <laughs> percent we, we were whipped and chained. Now, mm. as black men, we're into whips and chains. Mm. How, how, how back is it? Think about it like that. We had shackles around our legs. Now, if you go court, judge can put you on ankle tag. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Then they, was, they, was put, they were guarding, they were, they were taking the, the rights away from us to read and write. Mm. Now, when feds pull you over, what do they do? Read mm. your rights. Like, if, psychologically, a lot of people don't think about these things. So, mm. when we're so fixated on warring each other, mm. They're over there building a, a, a business of that's course. diminishing us. Yeah. And we're not getting it. And, that, and, and to me, that's sad, bro, that these mm. kids don't even understand this. It, no one has given us the blueprint on how to successfully mm. win the roads. Mm. No one, bro. No one. You have to learn that blueprint, innit? You know 100%. And then share it with your, with your own. Yeah, you know share the mean? information. Share the information. Yeah. Bro, s some people, like, some people are just fixated on keeping stuff to themselves, bro. Like, mm. for me, I'm, I'm willing to share with everyone Pe mm. and, and everyone's priorities are wrong mm. people would fix their iphone screen before they fix their life mm. <laughs> you know what i mean like yeah. people like literally bro look <laughs> see <laughs> see? <laughs> see you get me yeah. but <laughs> no i hear that still man um and you know what it is as well like you see when you're segregated so i always say this i always keep this in my head it's like united we stand the value we fall Facts. you know what i mean Facts. so the more we stand united as like with our children, with our yeah. nephews, nieces, with everyone, yeah. and we and we teach them the information because, like you said, in in my time, in your time, our, our grandparents weren't telling us they were hiding, so not hiding, not trying to be. They, they kept certain things yeah, away from us. Quiet, yeah, they you know kept I mean? certain like, things away from us. My you should have sit in the room quiet. Yeah, get no one to know about like what was going on on our plantation. Bro, they they should have been teaching us. Bro, they should even know it's we died. Bro, they should have been teaching us about Mansa Musa. Yeah, things like Man, you know Mansa Musa, yeah, the richest Mansa, black yeah. guy ever. Yeah, Mansa like, Musa. Yeah, bro, yeah. Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg. You know what I mean? Like Black Wall Street. Them man, them man would have to take their their money, put it together mm. to make, match his net worth. He's the, and they, he collapsed the economy. Like, they don't even teach them, like, 1921 Tulsa. We mm. have Black Wall Street. Yeah, that's Na, right. We have Black Wall Street. They, mm. they, they like, you they know what I mean? It. Yeah, they wiped you, it out. Wiped us out, bro. Mm. They, they're not teaching them none of this kind of yeah. stuff. And this is important that they know it, Like, bro. even, even with, even with, like, the Romans, like, they don't really teach about the Moors. Remember the Moors? There was a lot they, of black um, kings he, that were not, like, Bro, they, they teach us Moors. as far as slavery. Chiefs, the, the they generals, teach us as far yeah. as slavery, bro. Morgate. Morgate was the Moors. The bro, Moors you, you know about Mansa Musa and all of that, innit? Yeah, come on, bro. Mm. A lot of people, they don't know, bro. They don't know. They Information don't understand is it. key, it's, it's key, bro. I mean? It's key. And they, will, and they will take, they will take 
they'll take, like I said, going back to Uncle Ben's, they'll mm. take our image and think about Tulsa 1921. What's his name? Sylvester Stallone just bought our whole series called Tulsa. That's the, the Tulsa King. That's disrespectful, yeah. bro. I don't you, even know that. Yeah, you know what I mean, like he, but he's been doing disrespectful stuff like that. He, I think the Rocky from from the Rocky days and, yeah. and having a statue Rocky in was Philly. The original um, bro, Brazilian boxer. Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. my uncle used to tell me a nice bro, argument. Bro, they don't know. Lying, they don't, Stallone, nah, like, they don't you know, know like that. They don't I was know, young bro. and dumb, like. And the thing about program, that, that, that statue, they they built that statue nineteen eighty in mm. Philly. Imagine Joe Fraser, someone who shared a ring with Ali, didn't get his statue until 2015, mm. and he died in 2011. He didn't even get to see his own statue, and he's a real Philly fighter, bro. Yeah. That's bad, bro. That's bad. bad. So bad. we're always depicted, like yourself, as, like you said, as a brown man, me as a black man, we're always depicted as the wrong, bro, mm -hmm. and we need to change that narrative that it's not colour, it's culture, bro. That's right. It's really culture yeah. because, yeah, man. Because culture is what keeps you grounded. Culture is what kind of keeps you... Like having that like motivation, you know what I mean? It, it's give, it keeps you driven into the right. Yes. Culture yeah. keeps you family orientated. Hundred yeah? percent. Yeah. Culture keeps you. All right, the system telling us about this, da, 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 but we're gonna stick to that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's always good for the culture. I forget. Ah, oh, what color a man is? Da, nah, da, da, that's, 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 that's that's nah, that's that's out the window now. Yeah, you know bro. what I mean? Like, yeah, that, that's that's them, 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 the them days are done. Them days are done. Yeah, man. But yeah, now nah, my um, bro. So also as well, quickly, I want to ask you as well, yeah. What do you think of the current scene now, like podcast, the podcast scene, and also the music scene? Like before we wrap up, and like, oh, the pod. Yeah. What do you mean, guys doing that, podcasts? Yeah, what do you, yeah. What's your opinions on it? Like, do you like? Do you think it's healthy? Um, is there a lot of um, like influential people, or do you think this bare man is just chatting r rubbish? I think, I think, I think the one thing, one thing that's good about the podcast and mm. that, yeah, yeah. One thing that's good about the podcast and that, and I can, I can honestly say this year, we've been told to wrap up. One mm. thing about the podcast that I will say is good is um, it gives avenue for many conversations. Because mm. I know my, only my nan had a sky back in the day. So mm. example, yeah, music was what, M MTV Bass mm. and Channel U. But everyone else's subscriptions were like sports, That's right. other stuff. Like, yeah. they, they, so with the podcast world, it's given all of these people who had no voices mm. a voice. A voice yeah. So it's not, you can even see, most of them don't even want to sit down with rappers yeah. because rappers don't have personality. True, and I, so they rather sit mm. down with their cousin around the corner or their uncle that works with them yeah. because there's not so there's a market for that. So in that sense, I respect it. Mm. Music wise, um, I'm thinking it's getting a bit basic. So like, after you hear these man's songs now, I just feel like to say, now I know my ABCs. Like that's <laughs> that's how basic their music's become. Bro. Like, after they finish, it's just like man singing about ABCs now. So yeah. it's like that. I think everyone needs to be more creative and more articulate with what they put out. Mm. And then, yeah, man, but it's, it's, it's a growing scene. Mm. We need to stop following the Americans and we just need to do our own thing. That's right. But yeah, nah, man, definitely. Yeah, and man. Fen's got a big podcast, Table Time Table podcast. Table Time podcast out yeah. now. Obviously, everyone go and check that out. You get me? Yeah. Um, Dusty Estate as well on all platforms. But yeah, man, Pre-Pod, big up for today, man. Nah, no worries, my bro. Me done. Love, get me. love, big love. Up. Appreciate you. Done, no, man. We're, we're out, man. Why do you come like Lee? Stop selling crack to my mum. Who you telling, yelling, and got smacked with a gun? We thought he froze, and so I smack over you, bro. It's not my fault. She chose crack over you.